Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'll give a little bit of a presentation about uh, Dell EMC philosophy, about uh, our OpenStack solution, uh, what we're doing, and all of the flexibility we built into that. Uh, so let's start with our philosophy. So uh, we have a lot of the open, uh, we have a lot of the different components within the portfolio uh, from the servers, from the storage, from the networking. Uh, from the open source uh, uh, pieces of the open stack of Ceph, uh, of the Kubernetes, and so on. Uh, so all of that have to be put together into a cohesive solution so it operates properly for you uh, and you don't have to deal with uh, all of the integration issues. Uh, and uh, our idea is that uh, we'll provide help with that. Uh, but we will have everything open so we prevent uh, any of the lock-in. So we we'll start with the open architectures. Uh, we integrate uh, continuously all of the latest version of our portfolio, of all of the uh, goodness which happens on a regular basis, provide your ability to transition from uh, your solution in the field from the current one to the next one whenever it become available on your term, uh, on your timeline, not uh, when things happening, uh, and uh, tailor it to whatever the workload and application you would like to run. Uh, as you have seen uh, quite a bit over the, actually the last several uh, uh, OpenStack summits, uh, there is a transition from having a generic solution target for public uh, and private cloud to more tailored solution uh, tailored for either NFE workload, uh, for uh, various telcos, optimized specific thing for HPC, for big data. And all of them, uh, in order to really take full advantage of the performance, uh, 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 to provide the same performance which you would expect out of your optimized solution, requires specialized hardware, be it FPG, GPU, uh, smart NICs, and so on. Uh, and they have to be integrated in a solution and maintained as a part of the solution. So, uh, you know, we uh, took some of the effort uh, for that uh, to ensure that will be, life will be a little bit simpler. So we created an idea of the profile which is optimized for a specific uh, type of the workload. Uh, and then uh, we uh, created a management of those profiles so it automatically sets, uh, manages uh, your entire uh, vertical stack from the uh, application, uh, which is yours, uh, but how that application is deployed and managed through the open stack, to the open stack configuration, to the uh, operating system configuration optimized for that, to obviously hardware and hardware configuration optimized for that. And it's not just with the time of the deployment, but of the lifetime cycle of the solution. Uh, so kind of on the high level bit, I mean, on the bottom, we have a variety of different options within the Dell AMC hardware portfolio. Next level up, we partner uh, with, uh, in our view, the best uh, open source uh, distribution lender, uh, Red Hat. So we used uh, the OVS, KVM, uh, Ceph storage, uh, and various other plugins which are optimized for that. Then uh, we uh, can have a next layer up, uh, which becomes more optional as you go to uh, real-time Linux, uh, DPDK, SRV, and various other extension to OpenShift on top of the OpenStack, and then uh, various other components on top of that with a common management on the side. Uh, we, we can kind of start with a small one uh, and you can scale it up or down uh, uh, to your heart desire. So what are the things does it provide you? What advantages? Well, first of all, it's integrated. It's a disaggregated solution, but integrated into one cohesive entities. So it allows de-risks your operation from the day one to the day end. Uh, it uh, provides you the long-term life cycle support. 
Uh, and obviously, it provides you the way to do the customization. Either you can do customization since everything is open, or you can partner with uh, either uh, Dell MC professional services or Red Hat professional services for consulting and optimization uh, and customization for your needs. Uh, and as I mentioned before, we made uh, uh, life substantially easier by creating uh, the workload optimized configuration with including the total management for that. So this is kind of a high level bit of what does a solution consist of. Uh, we have a variety of different uh, server as an option, variety of different uh, Dell MC networking with a variety of different operating system as a part of that because even our networking is disaggregated. So you can have Cumulus, you can have Big Switch, you can have a variety of different options. Uh, in this uh, specific version of our release, which is the 13th release of the, uh, our OpenStack solution with Red Hat, uh, we uh, integrated the latest 25 gig networking and we transitioned the entire solution to 25 gig networking. We can still have a 10 gig networking and uh, even one gig networking if there is a need for that. Uh, but the base solution moved to the uh, 10 gig. Latest version of uh, obviously all of the components. Uh, we optionally support integrated from the start uh, the uh, SC series from Dell and all of the latest things, including the uh, new uh, BOSS uh, hardware support, where we separate, build in the RAID 1 uh, U2 uh, uh, disks for the operating system. So it's completely separated from all of the other uh, storage on the nodes, which can be integrated for whatever, for specific to the workload. Uh, again, variety of different networking. A couple of the predefined uh, uh, profiles, uh, the CSP for t uh, telecommunication uh, networking, specifically target for NFV workloads, optimized for that. And then uh, another predefined workload, which I'll go into more detail, which is more tailored to the uh, web-based application, but it obviously can be used for, uh, for generic things. And then a variety of different optimization built into the NFE profile specifically for uh, optimizing the NFE workloads. Uh, all of the latest things, even the latest Linux, uh, uh, Red Hat 7.6, uh, with the latest Ceph, which actually came out, uh, came out less than a month ago for both of them. So we're trying to be very tight uh, in terms of the ability as soon as the new software is coming out, uh, as well as all of the firmware from the Dell MC component, we have them integrate the solution to make your life easier so you can transition to that if you want to. Uh, and of course, uh, we do all of the certification from all of the certification of the OpenStack itself. So we run the third party CI for everything which we have for all of the different options for our storage, for all of the different hard uh, servers. Uh, and we have a variety of different uh, drivers uh, which we support for the Ironic from the default APMI one to the IDRAC one and the Redfish one. And we are trying to transition uh, all of the uh, management of our servers to the Redfish as the Redfish itself matures. Um, so let me spend a minute or two about uh, talk about our automation. Uh, and the jetpack specifically, and kind of why we went that route. Um, so we looked at what uh, was available, and we were part of the triple O right from the start uh, of trying to optimize uh, sim and simplify deployment and management of the solution from day one to day N. Uh, and we realized that while it works quite well initially, uh, you know, the obviously longer term things was, uh, you know, need a lot more maturity, and we. Uh, we're part of the community working to improve that, uh, uh, starting from the uh, updates from one release to the next, but more looking, f uh, uh, developing the fast forward update solution so you can deploy, or you can update on your own terms whenever you want to, rather than trying to stay on top of the open stack releases. But what we realized is that very quickly that as soon as you start optimizing for individual workload, the entire stack, then the situation becomes much more difficult and you don't have a simple way of handling that. And that's kind of where we start working on kind of very tiny shim on top of that, which allows us to maintain the, uh, infra the, maintain the management of the, uh, the entire solution in, in a consistent way. Uh, so, it improves the performance by, you know, factor. 
So we were deploying uh, our solution in the lab as a continuous part of our continuous, uh, continuous test integration. Uh, for the full rack, it's about two hour deployment from the stretch. And then uh, actually it took a little bit longer to do the upgrades and to do the initial deployment, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, but they're talking about hours to, do, to, do, to go through this process. Uh, and, we up, and we do all of that for a specific workload. So we know that when you deploy a specific predefined solution, that operation is work. We can do the same for other workload, which are specific to your, uh, to your needs. Uh, and we have a professional services team which is trained to support you on this. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the, it relies on, it's a layer on top of the triple, uh, triple O uh, and it relies on the Ironic to do the bare metal provisioning and bare metal, uh, bare metal life cycle management. Uh, and uh, the profile is layered on top of that as a specification how the configuration is supposed to be done through the entire, uh, the entire stack of the solution. So why do you care about that optimization? Well, you do care because as soon as you start looking to a specific workload, now you're in a dilemma. You would like to take advantage of the latest hardware available or latest uh, optimization available everywhere in a stack. Hmm, dilemma. How do you uh, ensure that your hardware configurations are all set in place and not modifying? Well, you need to pick up the ones which you really want. And now it's up to you to go integrate it into the solution and make sure you maintain. And depending on which kind of workload you would like to do, you need to have a specific things. And then, of course, once you choose the hardware, now you have to go through the, uh, through the process. OK, what are all of the hardware uh, configuration parameters I need for that? What are the specific things I need to have for operating system to, to make sure you take full advantage of that? And then you have to go to your workloads and make sure they're handled properly from the open stack configuration to Kubernetes configuration, and in some cases, your workload uh, configuration. And then the biggest problem is that, okay, somebody has to orchestrate all of that and make it part of your uh, continuous, uh, continuous support. And this is where kind of the idea of the profile came through and we you know, kind of played with that and uh, developed for a, couple of, uh, for a couple of specific workload and moved that forward. So uh, the project is called, we call the Jetpack uh, to accelerate uh, your moving forward. Uh, it's under Apache 2 license. Uh, uh, you know, here is a GitHub pointer to that. Uh, again, we have a couple of, uh, we have a no build-in notion uh, of the profile, which is optimized for workload. A couple of the profiles are predefined there, so you don't have to deal with them. You can still modify them if you, as you move to the you know, different hardware options and so on. Uh, but the base one is there. And of course, you can create your own profile for your own needs. Uh, we are tightly working with the triple O community and seeing at what point of a time it will be appropriate to start moving some of that from its kind of separate uh, repos to the triple O. But uh, at this juncture, it's not kind of not, not in the uh, game yet. Uh, and one of the things uh, in the, the Jetpack does, it actually utilizes some of the features which are in Ironic uh, to go do configuration of the hardware through the Ironic because Triple O does not allow you that yet. So there is a, you know, several touch points which need to be handled before it can be merged with the rest of the OpenStack. Um, Again, this is a joint work uh, between mostly Red Hat and Dell at this time. Uh, and again, I mean, the reason for that is that we take the best of the hardware vendor uh, and the best of the open source uh, uh, distribution and uh, get them together. And that would provide you the best solution you can get. Uh, so I'll kind of skip that since it's the same information I provided before. So what is a profile? A profile basically provides you the information about uh, uh, configure, you know, uh, what are the features you would like in a specific configuration and how you want to define that. Here is a sample of, for example, for NFE, all of the different things we went through and making sure they're set up, uh, they're configured correctly and managed correctly through the lifecycle of the solution. Uh, so in this release, which is, uh, uh, we call it Jetstream 13.0, 
uh, we went uh, to do next level of the optimization in the Jetpack, and that is uh, we created uh, a simple, uh, well, not a simple, but a spreadsheet which predefines all of the networking. You do it ahead of time because that's kind of how you define how your network look like. From every network which you exposed, from the public API network for provisioning networks, for storage and storage clustering for Ceph, and you kind of define that as a part of the uh, kind of your dis discussion with your data center or whichever location you're going to be running uh, the open stack. You predefine that, and out of that, it extracts all of the information and populates them all of the configuration files throughout, uh, throughout the solution. Uh, again, this is just a simplification, so you can ensure that you don't have any errors when you deploy it, uh, when, when you manage that, and you have a consistency across all of the nodes and across all of the parts of the solution. Uh, so kind of key takeaway, uh, when you choose your solution, uh, our recommendation is to choose the right partner for the solution. Uh, and that partner is both a hardware and software partner. And again, for various reasons, we chose uh, uh, best of the open source distribution and the best of the hardware vendor to f create the solution. Uh, minimize the risks of your life cycle of the solution from deployment uh, to uh, continuous, uh, continuous operation in the field. Again, choose the right partners uh, to do that. Stay open source. Do the extensibility and flexibility you want and optimize your solution to your workload. Because as you're providing your platform to your customers, first and the most things they will expect that it performs just like their hardware optimized solution, which is targeted specifically for one workload. So I'll stop. If you have any question, I'll be very happy to answer. I'll be in the booth right over there if you have more questions. Uh, and if you kind of look back there, this is uh, our Red Hat OpenStack solution in the box uh, in the mobile rack running uh, 10 node 1. Everything I told you here is running there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>